Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest, where we are currently running through the sunny fields. Oh, oh, potential food, but I think we're good there. We already tried chasing a bunch of deer. We are currently running through the sunny fields of a lost river, here with Echo, the sixth generation heir to the Dawn Moon Pack, as she continues to explore with this brand new male who has been hanging out with her for a couple days now. He actually seems to be really sweet, and I'm hoping that they'll end up having a really powerful bond. But uh, unfortunately, one of the things we need to do in order to secure this relationship is make sure he's fed, stays alive, and, you know, actually go ahead and, like, hopefully go forth. Like, get a mate through hunting, maybe? Like, I keep thinking maybe if we can impress him with our hunting skills, he will decide, yes, this is the mate for me. But so, so far, to be completely honest, you guys, <laughs> Echo has just been, oh, Echo, you're hiding in the grass there. I can't see you. Echo has just been like completely playful. She has just been watching him and running after everything that she can possibly find. She's been chasing after all sorts of rabbits. They have been going ahead and they have been discovering many a wolf den, actually. In fact, that's what we were actually looking for just a moment ago. I completely forgot about that because, you know, it seems that Echo completely forgets about a lot of things, but we were actually looking for a wolf den that we smelled before we ended up over here. And now I think we're just going to go ahead and take a nice nap in the, uh, the afternoon sun. And maybe we'll be able to find the mysterious remain. Oh no, I think we already found that wolf den now that I remember. Poor Echo. Apparently, <clears throat> apparently she totally forgets a whole bunch of things all of the time. Yeah, totally her. Totally her. I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> but this is just so much fun. We did actually end up finding a new den last time. And we still haven't quite found a good place. Whoop! All right, good, 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 good. Come on, come on. Go, Echo. Prove to him that you can provide some delicious food and you aren't completely hopeless at hunting. And then we'll go ahead and let him eat first because, believe it or not, this very wonderful sunny golden male, whose name I have picked out but I'm going to keep secret, uh, just in case he doesn't become our mate so that then I don't mourn him forever and maybe save the name for something special. But uh, these two, oh look at them go down the trail, I just think they're really doing well together. Does he smell anything in particular? Ooh, another bunny? Mimi? He might have smelled another rabbit. It does smell like there's a lot of rabbits around here. Hmm, 50 minutes ago. Maybe that one's worth chasing, but it looks like it's running right into the open waiting arms of a grizzly bear, to be completely honest. Um, oh, what's, what's this? What's this? Hmm, let's see, snowshoe hair. 40 minutes ago. Oh, that's the other wolf pack. That's the smell that we're currently picking up. And then there's some female, uh oh, female dispersal wolves. Okay, maybe we need to go the other way. So that maybe he doesn't get any ideas. So let's actually have Echo guide. And we'll just call him like uh, Gold for short right now. And oh, oh, it's it's snowing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Okay, I think that would get her a little excited because this might be the first time Echo has seen snow since she was little. Maybe it was just a really warm winter and she hadn't really seen snow for quite a long time. And now she can come on over. Come on, come on. Yeah, chin rest. Boy, and we definitely got one of the packs really riled up. <gasps> Look at him! He folded his little ears down! I really think- <gasps> What? I was about to say I really think he likes us, but you guys! Wow, what a kind of beautiful and romantic moment to go ahead and find a new wolf mate for generation six of our Dawn Moon Pack. I actually think that here, this male has fallen for Echo, not because she is a good hunter, not because she knows where she's going, because she continually gets lost and goes in circles, and not because she's stealthy like he is, because he's really great at hiding in the grasses and pouncing from the shadows. He likes to be very stealthy when sneaking up on other wolves and prey. Instead, I think he really loves her playfulness. The way that she chases after everything. The way that she might forget something, but then be delighted by the next discovery. She, like, totally forgets where she's going. Absolutely loves whatever she finds. 
Maybe I'm identifying a little too hard with her now that I think about it, but I also think it's just really sweet that as the snow started falling and she was just frolicking and playing and like catching it, like I could totally see her catching it in the air and licking at the snow in the sky. I think that he just thought she's got such a cool personality. She's not obsessed with territory. She's not obsessed with fame. She's just curious and inquisitive and playful. And it seems that he is ready to become our mate. So you guys, I would like all of you to meet Relic. <laughs> Perfect for Echoes of the Past, don't you think? Yay! All right, so they've gone ahead and they have formed a new family. So we have Relic. Heck. Is, it, is the season passing? Because we're such a... <gasps> it's winter now? Oh my gosh. Of course it would be winter now. Because that's what always happens. But for some reason, I just didn't put two and two together. And so I think these two finally met and kind of decided to form a pack together. And Relic fell for Echo right when the first snow came down. And now we're in the early parts of winter and they're really trying to learn how to be a little bit better at hunting together so that they could go ahead and raise some healthy puppies. I think she'd be getting like kind of excited about that. And also we need to go ahead and establish a territory. And I think he'd be willing to like accept that, okay, that's gonna have to happen. What the heck, you guys? This is amazing. We'll just go ahead and start right here. Why not? Like we have one little chunk of territory. I think we're gonna wanna work on that a little bit. And I think one of the things we're going to do is we are actually gonna work back over <laughs> towards those beavers. Because I think if we just found a mate who is kind of stealthy, he might want to have something to do with being able to pursue the the things that are easy to hide, hunt from the shadows and hunt from the grasses. And actually, oh no you don't. Let's go ahead and howl. I don't know how often he- oh look at the snow! Oh my gosh, yeah I haven't seen the new snow, this is so fun! Oh my gosh, she, she would totally want to play in the snow. Look at how cool is this is! I haven't actually seen the new snow yet, so this is fantastic! Look at these two play in the snow! I really, really, really love how their, like, relationship is coming along. I really love how they met. I really love their story. I really love the snow. It's kind of hard to walk through, so I'm sort of wondering if maybe it'd be worth going down and checking out town to see if the hunting is good there, and maybe... I don't think Relic... He's probably familiar with the town area because I think he probably has like traveled through it before and maybe was even raised nearby and kind of dispersed near. Uh, so I don't think he would mind possibly going to town and even looking for a den around there or at least shelter from the fact that it's like very, very snowy right now. But speaking of all of those things, oh, is that a moose? That is indeed a moose, a cow moose. She looks so beautiful in this winter weather, doesn't she? Oh, that's gorgeous. Just watching her go by. I'm trying to like go ahead and make sure we have plenty of pictures, by the way, because we are going to be starting a new gallery that is going to create a beautiful, I hope, archive of all of the stories of our Wolf Quest wolves that you guys will be able to see at any time just so that we can relive the memories. And I'm not the only one sitting on top of a pile of fantastic mementos. All right, but, oh, is that a hair? <gasps> Look at it! It's got like a lighter coat now. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, how hungry is he? 56, he's so sweet because he lets her like have most of the food. <gasps> Look, there's deer over there. Oh, they're bolting for it. But maybe we'll be able to hunt them a little better. Oh my gosh, I say as we suddenly collide. All right, there's the bunny's running for it. It's so cute. Okay, okay. Oh, look at this. I think if you can run down the path, like the game path the deer is kind of working on. Come on, just a little more. Just, oh, I just need the tiniest bit more energy. Oh no. All right, Relic, we're gonna have to kind of work on this. Let's keep an eye on this deer. I sort of love the idea that maybe it's worth trying to hunt them if you're like pushing your way through the snow, but actually it seems extra exhausting. Huh, and Relic's really hungry. 
Let's go back to the... Well, the, aren't the beavers just going to be under the ice the whole time? All right, things might be a little trickier than I thought. So we might want to be... Look at Relic, he came right down the, the trail too. That's really cool. Or actually, I think he made his own trail. <laughs> All right, so things may be a little trickier than I thought. We might really have to be somewhat aggressive about chasing down every scent we currently can have. There's some female dispersal wolves. We would definitely want to chase them off, but it looks like they're the lucky packs problem right now. And speaking of the other packs, let's take a look. Oh, actually, the Lost River is nearby. What? The Van Winkles seem to be moving in a little bit on some of this territory, and I think we want to go maybe a bit north and start claiming some of the Lucky Packs territory if we don't run into them. Just to create a bit of a buffer around here. And I think that kind of sneaking in if no one seems to be there would be something that Relic would be totally cool with. Oh, this deep snow is going to be hard. All right, hang in there, you guys. OK, wait, wait, wait. I think I smell something up here. At the moment, we cannot turn down even the smallest rabbit, so. Is there a bunny here? Oh, there it is! Oh, how, how useful, kind of. <laughs> All right, I think we can chase it down. Almost, almost. Okay, so we can actually see the tracks that the animals make. This is so cool. Okay, is he still hungrier than us? Let's go ahead and check. He is still pretty hungry, so we'll go ahead and let him eat this. Again, because he, I think Relic really like leaves the bulk of the food that we discover for Echo to eat, which to me implies a really fantastic potential mate. All right, there's other wolves over here, but also potentially some bunnies. But I don't know about this. I don't think that Echo's like a big fan of pushing her way through endless snow. I think her playfulness when the snow first started falling is very quickly diminishing into a slight discontentment. Did the bunny go this way or did it get eaten? It went this way! Alright, another one, another one! Alright, hang in there, hang in there! And. Alright, so how's he doing? Alright, he's at 64 right now, so we'll let him eat this one too. Or, excuse me. <clears throat> he's still a little bit hungry from, you know, allowing her to have so much of the food. Ah, uh, but since we came this far and because we smell some strange female wolves, we might want to keep pushing through just so we can claim a little bit of this area. Mm. And it would be nice if we could stumble on a herd of something. Saw some cougar tracks just then. This is so cool. The snow is so deep. I have never seen this snow before. So this is very exciting and a twist to what the adventurers or wolves normally have to go through definitely is. Here we go. And if we don't smell anything here, maybe what we'll just do is we'll like mark territory to try to strengthen it and just start kind of curving to the north. Is there food over this way? Maybe? I probably should have tried harder to chase down that mule deer, but I mean, Echo is a little flighty. What about this smell? Okay, the fossil herd. There have to be some tired old, like, elk. There have to be. Somewhere out in this vast snowy wilderness. Like, look at this. This is amazing. I love the deep snow. I know that, like, Yellowstone, and clearly this is Lost River. Who knows where that could be. Uh, but I know that Yellowstone gets a lot, a lot of deep snow. And even when Chips and I actually were able to go to Yellowstone, wow, over a year ago now, we went in September, like early September, and it was still so cold. It got down to 14 degrees at night. Aha, uh -huh. and another spot we can go ahead and steal. Wow, look at that mountain over there! All right. All right. There, there might be something kind of cool over in the Van Winkle pack. Also, I think there's going to be a scent marker we can go ahead and destroy in order to go ahead and claim this area. Jeez. Getting tired. There's still, like, not really the smell of a lot of food. Oh, wait. Food! Okay. She looks like she's kind of staggering because of the snow. Alright, come on. Come on. 
I might want to give her some chance to rest because we're not the best at hunting deer, it seems. And then come at her from the side when she gets distracted. Alright. She can see us. I mean, unfortunately, Echo, right now, I think that your coloration is definitely working against you. Come on. Come on. Come on. What the heck, Fox? Don't distract me. Okay, good treat. Good treat. Treat, slow it down. Come on. Oh, you're almost there, Echo. <laughs> okay, once again, we're so close to being able to hunt this deer. Uh, we definitely need to try a little harder because this is like the only food we've seen in quite a while. And I think these two could use a really solid meal. Can I sneak on her? Can I sneak towards her in the snow? Because that would be kind of amazing. Nope. But at least we got a bit of a running head start. You think that the momentum of going downhill would help? Come on. Let's see if we can come at her from the side a little bit. Maybe chase her down with the help of our mate. Ah, oh, it's so hard. <laughs> ah, poor Echo. We're going to have to go ahead and we're going to have to work hard on actually learning how to do some proper hunting, aren't we, my dear? Especially if we're going to be pushing into other wolves' territories while we go at it. Okay, come on. That's right. Zigzag a little. Please don't let... I hope that's... I really hope that's Relic and not, like, another wolf. Come on. Every time we just, like, literally get close enough to practically bite its butt. Come on. We run out of energy. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, Relic's still going, though. So maybe he'll be able to, like, really work on catching it. But we've got rabbits everywhere. Thankfully, we're not terribly hungry, so maybe there's still a chance that we could go ahead and try to narrow this down. But you know what, guys? I like this, because I think all of this is really going to have to force Echo to learn how to become a better hunter, to learn how to become a little bit better at predicting where her prey will go, and to try a little bit harder to actually put her mind to catching things because she wants to save her wolf pups, right? She wants to be able to have a family. She wants to be able to show Relic, who has been so good to her so far, that she is worthy of being a good wolf mate. And I think she's beginning to realize a big key of that just might be patience. And also, like, not letting the deer apparently fall into a hole in the snow where you can't see them. Come on. All right, guys. <laughs> well, the chase is on. Oh, look at the beautiful winter forest. I'm going to get distracted just from that. Apparently, there are a million foxes everywhere. We're running through multiple territories with den nearby. Like, this is, this is just getting more and more interesting. Also, still scarce on the whole food source. So, uh, a lot of challenges that we're going to be facing. But hopefully... Alright. Alright. Let's at least go ahead and... We'll feed Relic. <laughs> but hopefully our pack will still figure out how to make all of this work. And we'll find some food, we'll find our dens. And we will be successful next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely Relic and Echo who seem to really be making like just a stunning pair. I'm so excited. Echo. <laughs> Every time I'm trying to be serious and talk about like, oh, they make such a great pair. Oh, it's such a wonderful part of our story. And then she's just got like huge terror eyes. Like she has seen some things. Ah, silly girl. But all right. So thank you guys for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like that we'll finally catch one of these deer and I'll finally like pay attention to actually learning how to do its maneuvers and everything properly. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye Ooh! Ooh, what's up there?